And here were the Boston Celtics arriving earlier. The players with a look of intensity as they try to pick up a win on the road. A nighttime activity on Ocean Drive here in Miami. As seen from the air, plenty going on down there. Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Barry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. The Celtics chemistry has made a leap with the addition of Kemba Walker. Walker said, it's a team sport. You want everybody to play with joy, play with freedom, and have fun. And Kevin, he has truly come to love seeing his teammates have success in Boston. David, he has been a great addition. Thanks for that report. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Jimmy Butler. And he's fallen out of favor a little bit in their offense, at least compared to how he was being used earlier in the season. His usage percentage is down over the past five games. Maybe he'll be more involved here tonight. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Brown is the two with Tatum at the three. Tristan Thompson is out there with Jabari Parker. And it's Walker in at the point guard. And for Miami, Bam Adebayo is out there with Nemanja Bielica. Then there's Jimmy Butler. Then there's Oladipo. And it's Hero in at the shooting guard position. Greg, too early to start talking about uh, MVP for this year. We're midseason. You know, we've gotten to a point now where we start talking MVP at the start of the season. You know, yeah, right. people just love to talk sports at this point, especially when it comes to the most prestigious. individual awards out there uh, I think you can make a case and sway some opinions with your play this time of year but uh, I like to let it all play out before I start focusing on that things can change in a hurry can't they in a season you yes, like, they you, can. like you say let it play out Thompson shoots such a high percentage on the inside most of his shots coming around the rim Bola Depot with the ball pass to Hero a three and again Miami with the triple and that's exactly what he's looking for draining the triple Walker against Oladipo lets it go from 11 Miami grabs the miss want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis and in that one the backups came to play gave the team an infusion of points that just put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench, a big factor in that win. Oladipo with the ball. He's picked up by Walker. Oladipo, the pass to Autobio. Back to Oladipo. That's in, coming off an assist from Autobio. Oladipo's got six points. And no doubt that Victor Oladipo is a guy that this franchise is leaning on, so showing some leadership here. Walker's shot is off. Defense as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. The Celtics have gone two for four from the field so far today. Tatum dishes to Parker. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Parker. And let's quickly take a look at the stats for Victor Oladipo. The last 10 or so games, he has been remarkable. Averaging about 23 points per, four assists and four rebounds. 
And it says a lot that when we see numbers like this from him, we aren't even shocked. He, he's that good. Yeah, we really have just grown to get used to his greatness, and that's the level for him that he's on right now. Out to the wing, and a wide open look for Walker. Boston again missing. The Heat have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. And drafted 13th out of Kentucky. Tyler Hero impressing right out of the gates that rookie season. And I think this is very much the type of player that comes in with confidence, a skill level, and an IQ, and ultimately a guy who wants to compete. The Celtics shooting their first free throw of the evening. One shot. And the vertical that Brown has is pretty impressive, as relentless a finisher as you'll find in our league. Now, Oladipo, 17 points for him last game against Memphis. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now, here's Walker, down low. And Thompson throws it down. And they are very comfortable running their offense through Walker. And you can see why. Drops a sick dime right there. That pass was right on the money. Very pretty alley-oop layup. Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook, boys. Uh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. Shot's good by Walker. Thompson with a nice job finding the open man. Creating for his teammate. Odipo against Walker. Puts it up. No good on that one. Now the Celtics take it the other way. This, of course, their first chance to play Miami this season. And this is a team they battled in the conference finals last season. Coming up short. And Justin Thompson with some force on that one. Hero passes to Autobio. Let's it go from 11, and it's off the back rim. No good. Boston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Tatum kicks to Parker. Off target from outside. And it's out of bio with the ball for Miami. They trail by one. Bialica passes to Oladipo. And again, it's the Heat missing. The Celtics have gone six or ten from the field in this ballgame. The pass to Walker. Fires from deep. Knocks down the three ball. Walker's got six. And this is where Walker thrives, an assertive long-distance shooter. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Hero, no good. Maybe a time to rest him right now, just give him a bit of a breather, try to help him get back on track. The Heat trail by four. And again, unable to change momentum here. Boston's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. And it goes down two points. That's a good read by Jabari, a solid passer. And he knew he could reward a teammate that time. Timeout, Miami timeout. calls their first time out of the game. And they just can't Sorry. seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. As we get a break in the action, let's take a moment to check out the NBA's leaders in steals. Fifth, Jimmy Butler. And he's been a rock for them defensively. Just so many steals for him this year, and, and so many of them have been in key moments for his team. Odipo against Walker. From 17 feet out, Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. Just doing the job on the backboard. Here's Walker. And he lays it straight in. Eight points for him. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Oladipo for three. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds now tonight. 
Walker in the corner. Over Butler. Walker's shot is off. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. And again, it's the Heat missing. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Here's Brown, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. The D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Tatum, no good. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. With that now, only two of seven to start the game. Not the start he was hoping for. Here's Walker after the Heat pick up two. Outside, Tatum. Parker inside. The kick out to Walker. Offline with his three. The Heat trail by six. Here's Hero. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Hero's got his third basket of the night right there. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. And, Bones, when you look at Jimmy Butler's elite impact at both ends, you could argue he's the best two-way shooting guard in the NBA. Clay Thompson might have something to say about that, G.A., but certainly Jimmy Butler and his physical presence allows him to play a multitude of positions. So sliding down to the three and getting physical is something that Jimmy will do. We know that he'll take on any assignment and compete with it. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Trevor Ariza is checked in for Bialica. Igudala comes in for Butler. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for Tyler Hero. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Oladipo. Inside, here's Otobio. That one rolling around and rims out. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Miami's gone three to seven from three-point range in the first quarter. Nunn finds Ariza. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, Greg, we know there's some power finishers in the NBA like Giannis Antetokounmpo, but he complains a lot that he needs to sell contact rather than muscle through it. How do you evaluate those kind of power finishers in the game? Well, I mean, they're still power will always play a role, especially when you can add in quickness and athleticism. And I think you start right there with Giannis. I mean, he's kind of epitomizes that. Bron obviously is still in that category. And a guy like Kawhi Leonard, uh, he can send you into the stanchion when he gets going downhill as well. And the first one at the line is good. Just been interesting how it is that Ariza keeps getting on teams, and then the same thing is said about him, about a championship presence, a veteran leader, and still plays some very solid defense at the wing. All free throws good from Trevor Ariza. Celtics leading by four. Here's Smart. He's coming off a 13-point game against Atlanta. He also did a masterful job in that game of drawing a lot of fouls, so he's creating havoc for the defense. And here's Tatum for three. That shot is no good, and he's one for three from the floor. Adebayo kicks to none. Poked away, taken away by Williams. Fournier for three. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Fournier's got his second basket of the night. And this is where Smart has really improved. The game's slowed down for him. He's playing under better control. Nice pass. Now, here's Ariza. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Williams with the block. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. The, the defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Neesmith, he's checked in for Tatum.
Now here's Iguodala. Over oh, Neesmith. They get it again. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the defense just all over Bam, but he hangs tough. And Bam Adebayo has a chance to be a very good interior defender. The way he moves his feet, and because he's so physical, he's a presence down there. And Brent Story has it in his draft workouts. The Heat ram Adebayo to exhaustion, then put him to the test guarding wing players. Yeah, they looked at him and said, in effect, you must not know who I am and the kind of work that I've done. He's got that kind of edge, and that's the thing that this Heat culture is always looking for. Celtics leading by six. Smart passes to Williams. The Celtics working the ball around now. A nice shot by Neesmith. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that D can afford to give him. Passes it to Ariza. And here is Iguodala. He is still scoreless so far in this one. Fournier with the ball. From deep. Here's Williams. Here's Smart. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. They get Andre Iguodala. As tough as they get, Smart's a bulldog out there. Does a good job of drawing contact, oftentimes by initiating it. And not only is Smart one of the best defenders in the league, Greg, he's also one of the most versatile players in the NBA. Yeah, when you talk about players who can guard one through five, it's usually referring to Kawhi, PG-13, or Giannis. But Smart at 6'4 has the strength, the anticipation, and the toughness to hold his own against anyone. It's remarkable. The first free throw is good. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. And so Smart nails both of them. 157 left in the first. Pass to Ariza. Down low, Adebayo. Williams with the defensive effort. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. They lead by 11. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Fournier in the corner. Craps in the tray. Fournier's got eight points. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Adebayo on the inside knows he has to go up hard. He's going to get hit, and he forces the D to do it that time. For Miami, they have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Free throw good, Adebayo. You wonder just what it is that's next for Bam as he's shown incredible improvement in a very short amount of time as one of the more versatile bigs in the league. And Adebayo drops them both. Celtics leading by 12. Hey, Smart deciding where to go with it. And the shot is good. I, I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Here's none. Marcus Smart picking up that last basket. None kicks to Iguodala. Back to none. Five on the clock. 
again, the miss by the Heat. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. The Heat trail by 16. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock to the middle. And Adebayo with the basket on the assist by Ariza. Adebayo's got five points so far. How about the experience paying off here as Ariza excellent at noticing that his man was wide open. Al Fournier. Outside, smart. Let's the three fly. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Kemba Walker firing on all cylinders for the Boston Celtics. For moments during that quarter, it felt like a one-man wrecking crew. It seemed he was doing everything out there. And we'll be back with you shortly. And before the game, we checked in with Marcus Smart, who told us how his upbringing helped shape his approach to the game. I'm the youngest of four boys. So as anybody who has siblings older, younger, you understand the struggle, especially being the youngest. You know, you always got to fight for what you want. And no question, Smart is considered one of the toughest guys, Greg, in the NBA. You have to love his passion, his willingness to sacrifice his body for the team on a nightly basis. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And for the Celtics here, they've been putting on a show, guys. Well, pounding the boards is one way to gain an advantage. They simply owned the glass in that first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. On the floor for Boston. Smart is out there with Evan Fournier. Then it's Williams. Then it's Neesmith. And it's Cornett in at the center. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. Cans it from downtown. Robinson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Here's Smart. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Greg, I think of you in a New York Knicks uniform, legendary arena you played in. What was that experience like? Kevin, intense. I, I remember <laughs> the first time I suited up. In a preseason game, we played the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court three times, and nobody scored, and the fans started booing. <laughs> and that's when I knew this is a little bit different. Uh, you better bring your A game. And thicker skin, correct? That, too. Yeah, and <laughs> fortunately, there was no social media or Internet back then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> And so, Smart nails both of them. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Here's Nunn. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Williams with the block. Uh, the amazing thing about Williams, yeah, he, he can block shots inside, but he can also block shots out on the perimeter. His ability to play in space means he's more than just a rim protector. Doesn't care where you're shooting from. This is his first free throw of the game. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Shooting two. First one falls for him. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. 
Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for the Heat. And so Fournier nails both of them. For Boston, they come into this one following a loss to the Atlanta Hawks. Pass to Autobio. Here's Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. And there is some intelligence behind the passing of Autobio. Not flashy, but making smart ones. Smart passes to Neesmith. Up again. It's good on the putback. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And the pass to Autobio. And Adebayo throws it down. Watch out. When Adebayo gets vertical, that's a big bam. Celtics leading by 13. Smart passes to Cornett. Back to Smart. Outside Fournier. And the three off target. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. And it's Williams with the ball for the Boston Celtics. At one point, they led by 16. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys, if you can believe it, before Jalen Brown went to the draft, one executive said the Cal Berkeley star was too smart. Brown says, when athletes are also informative, it can intimidate. We get pushback for our outside interests. The whole shut up and dribble movement is big, and I'm a part of that movement. Guys? Strong story, DA, there, thanks. The Heat trail by 15. Here's Ariza. It's hauled in by Cornette. And pushing it up, here's Boston. None against Fournier. Over in the corner, Williams. Now, here's Neesmith. It's Fournier on the wing. Four on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Williams can't hit. Miami's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. And again, it's the Heat missing. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And with a name like Duncan Robinson, you wonder, were his parents Spurs fans? <laughs> Good call, G.A., but I don't think so. He was born in 1994. That's a few years before Tim Duncan joined the Spurs alongside the Admiral. Good NBA name, though. And the Heat call time here. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. And the Heat with some changes. Bielitsa, he checks in for a reason. Tyler Hero comes in for Robinson. And it's Victor Oladipo in for Kendrick Nunn. Now, here's Oladipo. He's got eight. Hero, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Offensive rebound. Brown. And finished off by Brown. And when you let Brown get close to the hoop, you face the consequences. Just a tremendous athlete with unreal dunking ability. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. The Heat have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six.
Celtics leading by 16. And here's Walker. He's got eight. Tatum passes to Parker. The 10 footer. It's hauled in by Hero. Miami's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Butler, no good. Boston's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. Here's Parker. Got a piece of it. And he recovers it. Here's Thompson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Jimmy Butler. Well, Thompson's out there to throw his weight around. He did it that time. The Celtics have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And you have to be excited about the work rate that Thompson has shown lately. He has become a much more active player. Well, the ability just to stay with that high motor is Tristan Thompson's calling card at this point on the interior wants to play physical and wants to disrupt anything he can on the inside to make an impact no good on the second free throw and you can't help but see the impact Thompson has in the paint on both ends of the floor he's a rock planted near the rim very strong legs that help him get to so many of those rebounds the heat trail by 17 Here's Hero. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got five rebounds tonight. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Now here's Tatum. 20 points for him last game against Atlanta. Parker. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And with Thompson, as you said, Greg, once he's planted in the paint, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I mean, think about it. About 40% of his rebounds are on the offensive end. He just refuses to get moved or boxed out. Combine that with his hunger on that end of the floor, and you see why he's huh? such a Take great a rebounder. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Parker. And Parker continues to work, always wanting to get better. Always thought of as a high-motor player. And Parker drops them both. Oladipo with the ball. He's got eight. Adebayo, high post. Back to Oladipo. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And it's the heat with the ball. Adebayo finds Oladipo. Bielitsa inside, covered by Parker. The key for Bielitsa is confidence, attacking and trying to find ways to do different types of damage in the game. The Heat have shot six or seven at the line. Two shots. And the first one drops. Now, Bielitsa, a big guy who flows into offensive possessions and becomes an invaluable player in terms of the type of floor spacing you would want from a shooting big. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. There's the lob to Brown. 
an emphatic LU jam. What an athlete this kid is. Brown, it's just fun watching him get up and throw it down. Oladipo, the pass to Hero. He dishes it to Butler. Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. Parker's got six rebounds now in the game. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Back to Belyitsa. Good, and it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Well, Oladipo playing a couple years at point guard in Orlando when he started his career, showing off his passing ability there. Now, here's Thompson. He's got seven. Back to Walker. Out to the right wing. Just five to shoot. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. The league's long-distance bombers are setting their sights on the three-point contest this season. Here are some of the early favorites to make up the field. And, and I love the way the voting is shaping up, Kevin. We'll have an excellent contest if these are the shooters who are firing away on All-Star Weekend. Well, you look at Oladipo. He's going to need to leapfrog quite a few great shooters if he's going to be a part of the three-point festivities on All-Star Weekend. But, you know, maybe he can do it. I mean, it, anything's possible, especially if he has a few big games from beyond the arc before All-Star Weekend. That'd give him a nice bump in the voting. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, and I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent, precision, and, and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. Here's Hero. Kemba Walker making his last shot. Hero passes to Oladipo. And only jams right over Jabari Parker. Ah! Yeah, Oladipo has had some highlight dunks in his career. There's another one. And Walker kicks to Tatum. Adebayo against Walker. Takes the three. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. That's more like it, rounding into form after a very, very difficult first quarter. Hero passes to Butler, and they come right back with their own three-pointer. Butler's got five points now in the quarter. Walker against Oladipo. Pass to Tatum. A 15-footer. Rebound by the Heat. Hero's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Oladipo, the pass to Hero. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Pass to Thompson. Over in the corner, Brown. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. He has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Back to Oladipo. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Tatum with it. Butler covering. But they'll get another chance. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the backboard. Oladipo, the pass to Butler. Great deed that time from Tatum. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Boston. They have a 22-point lead. It's the most they've led by. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. To the inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Victor Oladipo. Well, Jabari got the defense to bite on that particular play, mostly because he was aggressive with it. For Boston, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so Shooting far two. for them. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. No good on that one. A different look for Miami. Andre Iguodala is checked in for Butler. Robinson comes in for Tyler Hero. 
And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Oladipo. The Celtics also changing it up. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Tristan Thompson. And Fournier subbed in for Tatum. Good on the second free throw. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Now, here's none. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Robinson for three, and the Heat, another three. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Brown outside. Back to Walker. Fournier trying to break loose. And it's Walker that time on the assist by Brown. Walker's got 17 now. 59 seconds left to play in the first half. Walker against none. Pass to Autobio. Kicks it to Iguodala. Six to shoot. He's now one for two with that bucket. Oh, we've seen this so much throughout Andre Iguodala's career. Just a gamer who refuses to let the defense get to him. Now, here's Brown. Ten points for him. And there's the pass to Cornette. Outside, Walker. Over Robinson. Offensive rebound. Brown. Nobody near Parker. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Parker's got six in the quarter. Nice to see Jabari Parker looking more and more comfortable behind the three-point line. Autobio. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Boston. Sitting on a 21-point lead to end the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. Dave. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We saw Kemba Walker lighting it up in the first half. He ended up with 17 points, three assists, and two rebounds. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? How good are these guys on the fast break? They're pushing the ball, finding the open man, finishing strong. They're at a breakneck pace, and if they can maintain this level of intensity in the second half, blowout city. And over to Shaq, what'd you think about Miami? Hasn't been pretty anywhere for them, but I point to their weak inside defense more than anything else. They didn't protect the rim at all, and it's cost them, Ernie. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Kemba Walker. Yeah, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by That's Gatorade. Great. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the floor for Miami. Hero out there with Victor Oladipo. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then it's Nemanja Bialica, and it's Butler in at the three spot. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. A wide open look here for Oladipo. Connects from three point range. Oladipo's got the first points to start out the third quarter for Miami. Here's Walker. Rebound by the Heat. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Celtics leading by 15. 
Parker the pass to Parker. Thompson outside. Nice ball movement by Boston. And it's Brown missing. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Here's Butler. And Parker with the block. How about the reach from Parker? Extends his arms way up that time to get the block. Oladipo with the block. That one drops for him. Walker's got 19 points. But he'd have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Oladipo for three. The rebound by the Celtics. Thompson's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Tatum, that's for two. Not going to go that time. And the Heat going the other way now. Adebayo kicks to Oladipo. That's in coming off an assist from Adebayo. Adebayo's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. To the left wing. To the paint. Thompson finds Parker. You know, winning that championship as you did, Greg, for UNLV, many people don't remember you played much of that season with a broken jaw. Well, Kevin, I don't remember much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, hmm. It was pretty <laughs> hazy. I lost 19 pounds over the course of the season. Oh, I was goodness. championship night. I was 168 pounds. No and, uh, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was wired wow. shut for eight weeks. Short Didn't miss a game, but I tell you what, I don't know if I would do that today, but, you know, it, it, it did turn out well with the championship as i recall you broke it against fresno state correct yes yeah got my legs taken out uh from oh. under me and broke the fall with my mm. face oh no. yeah oh ouch celtics leading by 14. oladipo with the block good timing from victor there as he swipes that one away oh a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop Brown with it, now defended by Oladipo. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And he's been terrific, guys. I mean, the percentage right around 86%, so don't doubt he's pleased with that. Two, two. The first one falls, and Miami making a change here. Ariza's checked in. Boston also with the sub. Smart's checked in. And Brown drops them both. The Heat trail by 16. Oladipo dishes to Butler. Over Tatum. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, you don't become this good in this league unless you put in a lot of hard work. And there's some evidence that Jimmy Butler has done that through the years. Shooting two. And he makes the first. The Celtics making a switch here. Williams has checked in. And so Butler nails both of them. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Outside, smart. And the foul on Victor Oladipo. That's his third foul of the game. Smart against Oladipo. Ariza with a nice job defensively affecting the shot. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. 
Chance now for a three-point play. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. For Miami, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. One shot. Now a timeout called by Boston. Oh, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Well, who's had the hot hand from the two position over the last ten games? Highest field goal percentages right here on the 2K leaderboard. Victor Oladipo, fourth. You know, in tight or outside, these are all very reliable and consistent shooters. It's a safe option to put the ball in their hand and let them create something for themselves. Well, the array of moves that each of those players has is just about unlimited. Whether it's in tight or outside, they know how to free themselves up and find the best shot possible. It's reflected in their shooting percentages. Well, uh, they're getting stops and they're attacking on the offensive end. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this, just grinding out defensive possessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. One shot. The free throw drops for Butler. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Brown the pass to Tatum. The second chance effort. Trying to get open is Thompson. And the layup good by Tatum. Tatum's got his second bucket of the night. How about the timing and hustle there? Tatum earns his team some second chance points. Inside, Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. And there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Now Smart, he's got eight. Brown wide open, he fires. The three-pointer off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And that one drops. Hero's got 11 points. Well, the catch and shoot is where Tyler Hero excels. Smart against Oladipo. Here's Brown. That shot off. And it's Miami the other way. And here again, the Heaton transition up the court they go. Oladipo misses. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Six-point game. Back to Thompson. Puts up a three. Ariza with the rebound. Ariza's got four rebounds in this game. A pull-up and another basket for Miami. Such a smooth shooter. Assertive hero right now on offense. Boston leading by four. Smart kicks to Williams. Tatum on the wing. Shoots the three. Miami grabs the miss. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Timeout, now a timeout. timeout called by Boston. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for Tyler Hero. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Boston. Evan Fournier comes in for Robert Williams. Heat on D. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. 
Again, the miss by the Celtics. Miami trailing. Robinson passes to Oladipo. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Fournier last touched it. And, and with the pause here, how about the stats for Adebayo? Right around 21 points per, 16 rebounds, and, and almost three blocks. And he's been a rock in the middle for them over that stretch of games. Dominating the glass is his trademark. Feel like those rebounds are wearing down and eroding the opponent. His effort right now, physically and mentally, has been good. That puts them in the lead. Ariza's got five now. Well, Trevor Ariza makes a living out there beyond the arc. Austin's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Brown outside. Ariza with the rebound. Ariza's got five rebounds tonight. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Loads it up for Adebayo. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there. Vertical, good hands, and a big throwdown. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. The three from Tatum. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Tatum's got it all tied up now for the Celtics. Miami's gone 4-6 or six from three-point land since the start of the second half. Outside Robinson. Good, and it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Oladipo's got his seventh assist here tonight. Smart kicks to Tatum. Passes it to Cornette. Celtics passing it around. Smart, wide open, he fires. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from range. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. This is where Oladipo goes in and has no fear of drawing some contact. Nice job of getting through the defense. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Oladipo. Yeah, Oladipo was the most improved player in 2018, his first season with the Indiana Pacers after being the second pick in the 2013 draft. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Bielitsa. He checks in for Ariza, and it's Iguodala in for Butler. Oladipo hits them both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Smart against Oladipo. Smart misses. And it's Adebayo with the ball for the Miami Heat. The lead is two. Iguodala, no good. Smart finds Fournier. Here's Tatum. And there's the bucket. Staying with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Tatum's got seven now in this quarter. And uh, Miami shooting around 40% from the floor here. Oladipo outside. Fournier against Robinson. Hey, yo, right here. Up top, Oladipo. 18 points for him. That's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. No three-pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. Oladipo dishes to Robinson. Good work defensively by Smart. Boston leading by three. Fournier for three. It's not going to go for him. Nice deep from Oladipo, and they're moving it up. From outside the arc, that's in coming off an time assist from Adebayo. Adebayo's got assist number seven for him tonight. Now a timeout called by Boston. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. 
Kendrick Nunn. He's checked in for the Heat. And then for Boston, Parker comes in for Brown. And it's Kemba Walker in for Smart. Here's Tatum. He's got 12. They get the rebound. Parker and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Let's check out the NBA's best three-point threats. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. And the first one at the line is good. And Parker drops them both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Now, here's none. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Bayalitsa passes to Igudala. To the inside. And out of Bayo throws it down. Good anticipation there from Igudala, who is a very good passer. Pass to Parker. A minute 50 left to play in the third. Down low. It's stolen by Adebayo. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Outside for Robinson. Adebayo against Walker. Gun wide open. That's in coming off an assist from Adebayo. Adebayo's got assist number eight here in this one already. Pass to Parker. Tatum on the wing. He's covered by Bielitsa. And that's good. Jason Tatum for three. Tatum's got the game tied up here for the Celtics. Yeah, he was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. And Adebayo throws it down. And Adebayo's game continues to grow. He's on fire right now. 59 seconds left here in the third quarter. Walker the pass to Cornette. Back to Walker. And Kendrick Nunn is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Tatum. And there are the Celtics with another basket. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. On the wing, it's Igudala. Back to none. Lock at six. Shoots over Walker. Tips it up. Rebound by Parker. The Celtics shooting pretty terrible here in the third quarter at around 30%. The pass to Cornette. Here's Tatum. Miami grabs the miss. Violets has got six rebounds now in the game. Robinson for three. Second shot opportunity. Bam grabs the board, and then Bam knows what to do. Guys, Bam Adebayo getting it done for the Miami Heat. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. Back right after this. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. We've got Evan Fournier. Parker out there with Tatum. And there's Kemba Walker. 
And it's Cornette in at the center position. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the Boston Celtics. Another shot. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Getting the and one. Kemba shows off the deft touch he has on the ball. You, you have to finesse around that hard of defense, and he does it as well as anybody. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And you always know what you're going to get from Walker from the line. He's been a solid, consistent free throw shooter his entire career. Loads it up for Adebayo. And Parker with a clear path to the hoop. And the dunk by Parker. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. Back to Bill Yitza. Three-pointer. And Boston with the rebound. Fournier's got four rebounds now tonight. Passes to Cornette. play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter here's Tatum it's hauled in by Bam Adebayo the heat trail by three pass to Nunn back to Adebayo and Adebayo throws it down and he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area he is and he picks the simple one hand stuff to get the two points Tatum kicks to Fournier Always impressive when a smaller player has a nose for the ball and rises up amongst the taller ones to grab rebounds. And how about the craftiness from Tatum? He plays smart, quick hands on defense, and able to block the shot. For Miami, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. No one near Iguodala as he lets it go. Adebayo on the follow. And the Heat lead by one. He's been a different guy here in the second half. Shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Outside, Walker. To the middle. Doesn't go for him. And it's Miami the other way. Violetza passes to Robinson. Kept alive. That shot off. The Celtics have gone 2 of 7 from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Over to the wing. Stolen by Nunn. In transition, here comes Miami. Shoots over Walker. Nunn can't get it to fall. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And Adebayo sends it back. And Pam with the emphatic block. Iguodala dishes to Robinson. And he finishes nicely on the layup. And offensively, they finally seem to be coming around after an ugly first half. Pass to Cornette. He kicks to Tatum. Nice ball movement by Boston. Tatum on the wing. Nailed from three-point land. Tatum's got 20 points. I guess he just needed a little break because since halftime, he's been raining triples. Timeout called the Heat. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. A different look for Miami. Butler, he's checked in for Iguodala. Tyler Hero comes in for Duncan Robinson. And it's Victor Oladipo in for Kendrick Nunn. Thompson, he's checked in for Boston. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Eric Spolster address the team. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? He'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, 
plenty of space. Just clanked it. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. So you draw the defense into you deep, and then you wait, and then you get confident down low to draw contact. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Jalen Brown's checked in for Boston. And Parker drops them both. And here are the Heat now. Oladipo taking his time here. Tatum against Butler. And Belhita has it in the corner. Here's another rebound. This kind of effort is amazing. And he will not be denied. That's going to be a big morale booster. And you know what? It could come down to those second chance buckets when it's all said and done today. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters here's hero that's in coming off an assist from Adebayo Adebayo's got nine assists now tonight yeah how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half here's Tatum Jimmy Butler with the rebound Butler's got his fifth rebound right now in the game and the Heat another three this isn't a tough case to crack. If they want to put an end to this run, they'll need to start getting back on D. Brown outside. The pass to Parker. Can they get it? Miami grabs the miss. And here we go. It's Butler. Here's Hero. He's covered by Brown, and it's out of, out of bounds. bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Celtics trail by six. And here's Walker. Tatum kicks to Walker. Six on the shot clock. The little runner inside. Walker's got 24 points. And a capable score from anywhere on the floor. You give Walker those kinds of looks, and he's going to make you pay. Passes it to Bialica. Here's Autobio. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Adebayo's got the lead up to six now for the Heat. Uh, he's been incredible in this half. Anytime he pulls up from outside, you think that's bottoms. Here's Walker. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Walker's got nine points here in the second half. You know what? The switch has flipped, and he's in that proverbial zone right now, knocking down three of four here in the fourth. Adebayo, the putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Heat lead by six. And, guys, the offensive rebounding really has stood out here this half. All those second-chance points are helping them maintain that lead. Looking to get back on track here. Tatum no good. Miami's gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Double team on Adebayo. Shot by Bielitsa and nobody around. And again, Miami with the triple. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Brown inside. A steal. In transition, here comes Miami. Oladipo's running. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And now a 12-point Miami lead. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively 
from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Thompson outside. Here's Walker. They grab their own miss. Miami leading by 12. Oladipo with the ball. He's picked up by Parker. And a fast break now for the Celtics. All going up court. And Butler sends it back. Butler with great anticipation there and swatting that one away. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. First one falls for him. That's all you. And Parker drops them both. And he's been rock solid at the free throw line tonight. A little bit of an unexpected bonus for them. Pass to Butler. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Kemba Walker picks one up. Well, the last thing Jimmy Butler's afraid of is a little contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. And so Butler nails both of them. And Walker's got the ball here for Boston. Down by 12. Kicks to Tatum. Get through, get through. Thompson outside. Looks for Walker. Gets it to him. Brown outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got his fourth assist in this one. The Heat leading by nine. Pass to Autobio. Double team on Autobio. To the inside. Elitza. No good. Great D that time from Tatum. Round with it. Now defended by Adebayo. Out to Parker. Here's Walker. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And he knocks down the first one. And so Walker nails both of them. The Heat leading by seven. Oladipo outside. The shot. Bullseye. Oladipo's got 23. Yeah, 77%. That's a good number, isn't it? Once he gets cooking, his team's going to start finding a bit more confidence around him. Offensive rebound. And Thompson gets it to go. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 10 rebounds. Miami's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Oladipo against Walker. And here's Pialita for three. Good. And it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Oladipo's got nine assists now tonight. Here's Tatum. 
And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Jimmy Butler. Yeah, nice job by Tatum inside. Very assertive. He's fantastic at putting the pressure on the D and consistently getting to the line. He drops the first one, and that brings them within single digits. And so Tatum nails them both. Third pick in that 17 NBA draft after a strong rookie campaign. I think Tatum was going to be around for a while. Here's Oladipo. And Boston with the rebound. Parker's Celtics trail by eight. And Adebayo sends it back. Oladipo with the ball. He's picked up by Walker. Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. 111 left here in the fourth quarter. Boston, no good that time either. Miami leading by 10. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for the Heat. And it may be a comfortable win for them, but, you know, they had to weather a few storms along the way, and that's all part of the sport. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Bam Adebayo. What more can you really ask of a guy? I mean, when you come out and get a triple-double, making contributions all over the place. No question, he got bumped on that shot. That's good from Parker. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 23 seconds left in the fourth. And Miami can just let the clock run down here. Smart against Oladipo. Stolen by Smart. The pass to Parker. Back to Smart. From deep three-point range. Off target. A focused defensive effort from Oladipo there. That's where he's setting himself apart in this game. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester, and that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David, thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.